Whew, that was weirdly exhausting. Hello everyone and welcome to I Film Things. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a neon dance trail. This is an idea I had a little bit ago that I wanted to share with you. It's not an original idea I grant you, but it's just fun. To achieve this neon dance trail effect, you need to shoot your dances separately. And you can do this in one of three ways. One, you can film your dancer wherever the hell you want and rotoscope them with newer versions of After Effects. But seeing as this is a Premiere Pro tutorial, we won't be doing that. Number two, you can shoot your dancer with a black background and make sure the dancer is well lit. Use the Luma key effect and you can just single out your dancer from the black background. But this effect isn't always great. So I'll be using number three, green screen. Bring an empty shot of the area you want your dancer to be in into your sequence and then put the green screen clip above that. Then using the ultra key or color key effect, you can make the green screen disappear. And already I'm dancing in this cool location. Next, we're going to add multiple effects to the dancer clip. But before that, we need to duplicate the dancer clip and then disable the duplicate for now. First, we apply the find edges effect to our first dancer clip and simply click the invert button. Then we need to apply the alpha glow effect. And in the settings, we decrease the glow to around 10 and disable the fade out. And the third effect is extract. Here we need to remove all the purple from this and just make it look black and white. Mess around with the black and white inputs until you get something similar to this. Next, right click on the middle dancer clip and hit nest. Then go into the nested sequence and duplicate the clip. We'll use this new clip as a track mat. This way we'll end up with the outlines of our dancer, which is what we want. So apply the track mat key to the bottom clip. In the settings, select the mat to video 2 and the composite to mat luma. Right now you won't really see what's going on, so I'm going to add a colour mat to the bottom track. You don't have to do this, but it's just a good way for me to show you the results of the track mat. The track mat will remove the inner black part of your dancer. So instead, we're going to remove the red background and then go back into our main sequence. Thing one, enable the top dancer clip and move it all the way up to track eight. Yes, I said track eight, and the nested sequence to track seven, and then offset it to, by a couple of frames to the right. Now the outlines are delayed and will follow the dancer. Next up, it's time for the color and glow. So we're going to drag and drop the tint effect to our nested sequence and simply change the matte white to any color your heart desires. The next step is the glow. Drag the VR glow effect to the nested sequence and we're going to mess around with some settings. First, bring the luma threshold to zero and decrease the glow radius a lot. Then bring up the glow brightness and saturation to 10. This will give you a real nice glow. However, this glow can look a little hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the nested sequence and add a Gaussian blur to the new one. Now I'm going to blur it a whole heaping heck of a lot and make the opacity around 30 or 40. Now you may be thinking, oh that's a pretty neat thing right there, but you need more than one neon outline to make it a trail. Well, you're right. So duplicate the two nested sequences to tracks 4 and 5. Then offset them by a couple of frames to the right, and in the tint settings, change the color for both duplicates. And duplicate the layers one more time to tracks 2 and 3. Once again, offsetting them to the right by a couple of frames, and changing the color. And that's it, we're done, that is how you do the Neon Dance Trail. I hope, in my heart of hearts, that this has been helpful to you in any way, shape or form. And as always, stay safe, stay creative, if you like this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, all that usual YouTube whatever the hell, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!